and welcome to episode 130 of Out of Venga's Shadow on FM24. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I'm going to show you the first two home games of the Premier League season. So we'll be at home to Aston Villa, I'll then play Sunderland off camera and I'll then show you the uh, second home game of the season against Tottenham Hotspur. So let's get straight into it and the team to face Aston Villa is coming up in just a moment. OK, here is the uh, team to face Aston Villa and it is Cajon in goal. Back four is Lucic, Maicon, Van Zeitveld and Jan Marek. Luis Claudio behind Diaz and Demar Horton in midfield. Marcelino on the left, Jan Cavalcanti on the right, Van Persie up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. OK, my assistant thinks it's a match we should be winning, make sure that we do. I'll agree with him, so we'll point the finger and go with that statement. And let's get out into the tunnel. Has Oli Percival's suspension affected your plans? These things happen. So let's get out there and try and win the match without him. And as always, we'll wait for the first 10 minutes to uh, go by. Aston Villa have gone with a 4-4-2, which has uh, caused us some problems over the course of the save. So we might need to uh, just vary things very slightly later in the game if things are not going our way. But at the moment, we are just about edging it. So uh, I'm quite happy with how things are going. I'm still going to demand more as Van Persie's corner comes in and it's headed behind for a goal kick. 20 minutes gone. Aston Villa on the attack now. Rodriguez throw in. The sells to Rodriguez. It's played back to halfway. Gomez. Square ball finds Keskin. To Waddington. Kendall Torrey on the right finds uh, Buketa. Kendall Torrey's cross. And Cajon with the save. And it's cleared. And we are 25 minutes in, and it is an Aston Villa free kick. Kendall Torrey to Keskin. Silva into Mienz. And the Lucic wins it back for Liverpool. Back with Luis Claudio to Mykon. Into Diaz, finds Horton, who gives the ball away. And Villa are in again. Milan's. Plays it back and it's across the area and Lauren Baquetta gets on the end of uh, Spates cross and it is Liverpool nil, Aston Villa 1 and we're going to need a demand more. And we're going to need to make changes at half time. The 4-4-2 once again causing us problems despite the fact we're having the better of the match. In every respect apart from on the uh, scoreboard where it matters. And that is going to be half time. And it is Liverpool nil, Aston Villa 1. Thrash the arms. Uh, what was that? And... I am going to go... To... A... In fact, what I'm going to do is go to a 4-4-2 diamond. So Cavalcanti will join Van Persie up front. And... He will go as an advanced forward on attack. I will then move Marcelino into the middle. And he can be a... What does he want to be? He can be a shadow striker on attack.
In fact, Marcelino is going to be the one to come off, I think. And we'll put Clayton Dolce on. And I'll drop Van Persie into the shadow striker role. We'll do it that way. And I'll take... Jan Marek off and bring on Naldinho. And we'll start the second half. We'll demand more. And uh, let's see if we can get back into the match. Damar Horton down the right. Loses the ball. Naldinho collects. Van Zeitveld. Plays it forward. Finds Horton. Van Zeitveld. To Luis Claudio. Out to Naldinho. He's got no one ahead of him. So he's going to have to go himself. Inside is Horton. Finds Claudio. Into the box for Van Persie. Claudio back to Van Zeitveld. To Claudio. Plays it for Lucic. Cuts it back. And the shot hits the crossbar. Keskin clears and the highlight comes to an end. We already look more threatening. I'm going to go attacking. Cavalcanti's corner. Headed away. Mykon. And the shot from Horton is just off target. We already look much more threatening. And I think Van Zeitveld is going to be next to come off. And we'll bring on um, Amar Bryant, I think. Or possibly Campos. In fact, we'll go Campos. And I will also take off Edgar Diaz and bring on Matt Manley. And we'll confirm those. So now we need a demand more again. We need to try and get back into the match at least. I mean, look at the state of the match stats. We've totally dominated it. And uh, we're going to get nothing out of it as it stands. We've got one more substitution remaining. And it's going to be Luis Claudio. To be replaced by uh, Amer Bryant. And in fact I haven't been able to do that before Clayton Dolce has been injured. Van Percy will go up front. Dolce will be replaced by Pockney. And Pockney and Manley can swap places. Let's try those two and then that one. Now that's worse. think that's probably the best way round, so we'll do it like that so we've now done Clayton Dolce's uh, come on and gone off so we're uh, all five subs used uh, demand more now and we've got five minutes of added time but there's no sign of uh, an equaliser and there is the full time whistle Liverpool nil Aston Villa won. I'll play the next game off camera and I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode. Okay, time now for the second match of the episode and following uh, the disappointing result in our opening match, we managed a 3-1 away win against Sunderland off camera. Now it's uh, Tottenham Hotspur at home and the team for this one is Garcia in goal. Back four is Lucic, Maicon, Campos and Jan Marek. And as you can see, we've gone for a change of formation. So it's Van Zeitveld and Luis Claudio in midfield. Marcelino, Damar Horton and Van Persie behind Jan Cavalcanti up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant thinks if we play like we did last time, we'll do well. He's probably right. So let's point the finger and agree with him. And let's get out into the tunnel. <coughs> Fans in particular really want to win these matches. How much harder does that make your job? Um, I relish these encounters. 
I don't care how my opposite number is handling it. And I'm looking for us to build on form and fitness. So let's go. Let's get out there and see if we can make it two wins out of three. And knock Tottenham off the top of the table in the process. So it is Tottenham with the first highlight. Alexandra's throw in. John into the area. Mike on clears, but we've given it away. Grewcock and Simon Shuttleworth puts it in the back of the net. Referee's arm was in the air, so the initial decision is offside. But what will VAR say? The goal is given. It is Liverpool nil. Tottenham Hotspur 1. So Van Zeitveld to Campos. To Jan Marek. Luis Claudio to Van Zeitveld. Demar Horton into Van Persie. And the shot. Clips the crossbar and goes out for a goal kick. And once again, they've gone 4-4-2 against us. So, demand more. Jan Cavalcanti's free kick. And he clips the uh, side netting. So, we've got a couple of attempts go close, but nothing on target yet. And we're approaching 20 minutes. We're still a goal down. And I'm thinking maybe we match them and go 4-4-2 for the second half. So uh, let's demand more. We'll go attacking as Jan Marek plays it back to Van Zeitveld. It's given away to Rubio who crosses halfway. Find Shuttleworth, out to Birus, Van Zeitveld cuts it out, clears it long, but it's straight to a Tottenham player. Claudio picks up the loose ball though, Marcelino to Lucic, Horton over the top for Cavalcanti, he's got an open goal, and Jan Cavalcanti finds us an equaliser on 35 minutes. It is Liverpool 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1. And that was more or less out of nothing. And 1-1 one, one actually is about fair. So let's get the half time with that score line as it is. And then we'll change it to 4-4-2. Four, four, so into the dressing room. Um, be better in front of goal. And let's see how we can go about going 4-4-2. Four, four, So Marcelino wants to be on the right-hand side of midfield. He can do that. That's fine. <coughs> I've got him there as a wing-back. I actually want him as a central midfielder. Um, but what does he want to do? Uh, he wants to be a winger. He can be a winger on attack. That's fine. Um, Shaquille Van Persie can go up and be the second striker so he can go in there and be an advanced foot in fact he wants to be a deep lying forward I'll put him as a deep lying forward on attack um, Damar Horton can play central midfield so I think I should probably let him do that um, so he can go in central midfield um, of the two defensive midfielders they're both playing okay, actually. But I think what I'm going to do is get... Who's that on a 6.3? Marcelino. So Marcelino's on a 6.3. 
and I'm tempted to take him off, but I've just moved his position. So I need to find somebody who can play on the left-hand side of midfield. And that man is going to be, I think, Lucic. So our left-back's going to move forward into midfield. Um, he can be a winger on support. And we're then going to move one of our uh, midfielders. Uh, one of our defensive midfielders is going to need to move. So we'll take... Uh, in fact, we'll put Van Zeitveld into defence. And we'll then put Jan Marek to left back. And... We need somebody who can play right back. So now Dino is going to come on for Gilbert Campos, I think. So now Dino will come on for him. If I can find him, there he is. So, now Dino, you're going to go to right back. You'll move forward. And then we just need to take Claudio off and bring on somebody who can actually play in central midfield. And that man is going to be... Edgar Diaz. So there we go. There's our substitutions for half time. And am I going to go attacking? I think I'm going to go positive rather than attacking. As soon as we're level, let's go. Start the second half. And hopefully we can go on and get the win. So, coming up to 55 minutes, not even a highlight yet. So, let's demand more. And then we'll start thinking about where changes might come in the second half. But, I don't see any reason to change anything yet. As Van Persie takes a free kick into the area, headed away. Horton will get there and does. Finds Jan Marek. Diaz to Horton into Van Persie. And he's offside, but skied his chance anyway. So, Lucic needs to come off. And I'm going to bring on the recommendation is Clayton Dolce. Um, am I going to go with it? Yes, I am. And I'm also going to take off Van Persie and bring on Matumoto. And actually, what I'm going to do is put Clayton Dolce up front and Matamoto can be the one out on the left. So, 15 minutes to go. Now I need to take Marcelino off. And I'll bring Matt Manley on. Not much else I can do. Looks like we might have to settle for a point. Jan Marek's free kick, plays it back to Mikon, ball over the top, looking for Manley, headed across, it's cleared, 
Naldinho to Manly, back to Diaz, clips in the cross, volleyed across, and Jan Cavalcanti buries it, but is Matamoto offside? Or have we got a late winner? No, it's offside. So it remains Liverpool 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1. Now I'm going to go attacking. As Shuttleworth wins it back for Spurs. Lashoud. Nichols plays it back to Suarez. All the way back to the keeper. To Lashoud. Into Nichols. And John. Nichols on to Janic. Nichols shoots. Garcia saves. And he might just have preserved a point. But we've got six added minutes to survive. If my throat will last that long. Suarez with the uh, Spurs corner. Van Zijkveld heads clear. Only as far as Shuttleworth. Suarez back to John. Cleared by Jan Cavalcanti. Highlight comes to an end. Cavalcanti with a free kick. And that's gone close. It's hit the outside of the post. One more chance. And Jan Cavalcanti with a right-footed corner. Can he find a red shirt in the box? Yes, he can. And Mykon heads it home. Liverpool 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1. 94 minutes gone. We've got two minutes to survive. We're going to cautious. And we've done it. We've got ourselves the win. I'll be back in a moment to show you the Premier League table and to tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay, time now to take a look at the Premier League table. And as you can see, with three games gone, we've got two wins, one defeat, six points on the board. There's three teams tied at the top on nine points out of nine. Chelsea leading the way from Bournemouth with Manchester United in third. So let's take a look now at when we might be coming back. And I think... I'll bring you back for the games at the end of September at home to Bournemouth and away to Chelsea. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.